All right, I'm gonna review the Blu-ray, the unrated version of Savages. For special features, it has two commentary tracks, one with Oliver Stone, the director, and the other one with a ton of people like the writer, the, the director, all these people. It comes with the DVD, it comes with two digital copies, one that's called Ultraviolent, and Stone Cold Savages. It's basically like the making of, the whole filming process, how they made stuff. You get to look at behind the scenes of what they did. As far as the story goes, the story takes a lot of twists and turns. It's to dumb it down really, really quick, which is hard. But it's basically two guys grow weed in California. It's excellent weed. And the Mexican cartel wants to get a piece of that. And so they get advice on what to do from John Travolta, who plays a crooked DEA agent. He basically tells them to do the deal. They're like, as they say in the movie, they're like the Walmart of drugs, like the Mexican cartel. So it's better just to do a deal with them. And instead, they want to quit. So they go to the meeting and they say, we want to quit. We don't want to do this anymore. The Mexican cartel doesn't like that. They say, we'll give you a day to think about it. And in that day, there's the two guys are getting everything together to leave. They're going to go to Indonesia. They want to quit the business. And the Mexican cartel knows this. And they follow them and they trace them. And they basically kidnap these two guys. His girl. Their girlfriend. And it basically goes from, you guys are going to work for us for three years. And in one year, we will release her. To, you know what, we'll release her if you guys give us $13 million. And then these two guys just think of a plan to get her out. So they kidnap the Mexican drug cartel leader, who is Selma Hayek, her daughter, and hold her from ransom. And it just goes on crazy. It twists and turns. And in the ending of the movie, they have a basically a... Actually, this damn movie has two endings. I'll tell you what one ending and then immediately they go to the second ending so what I think is the stupid Hollywood morons said we don't like this ending we want we want you guys to basically like set up a sequel in case this movie does well so you have one ending where basically everybody dies <laughs> everybody that's bad dies I like that ending and then they had to go and do this stupid Hey, I'm John Travolta. I'm going to save everybody even though I'm a crooked cop. And I'm going to save my two informants that know I'm a cop so they won't rat me out. And so I can get the glory for busting the Mexican cartel and all these hundreds of millions of dollars. And, and so me and the two guys live and the bad guys go to jail. That kind of ending. That's the story. Now let's get to how it looks. It looks awesome. I'll give it that. The movie looks phenomenal. The audio, amazing. But also you gotta think about this. Uh, there's not a lot of music in this movie. And uh, it's not extremely awesome. When you think of The Lord of the Rings, epic, epic music, right? Of course. This movie does a very, very crappy job if you compare it to Lord of the Rings in terms of music but the sound is really good the movie is very violent so that covers the story the music and the audio now let's go to acting the acting sucks at times it's like a soap opera and I'm pretty sure anybody who has seen reviews they'll basically say the same thing the acting sucks and that is a damn shame because Benicio Del Toro is a s awesome awesome actor but the wig that they put on this guy just looked fake as hell and I want to mention something else I can't think of another movie maybe Reservoir Dogs where almost every single person that's in the movie is a bad guy for real almost every single person except for one person uh, Selma Hayek's daughter the drug lord's daughter everybody else is Travolta crooked cop the two Drug dealers, Benicio Del Toro, horrible, horrible guy. So my final thoughts on the movie, if you can get it for maybe 20 bucks, yeah, you could check it out. The extras are pretty damn cool. 
the sound is damn good but for 35 that's a little high man but it's not everybody's best performance in this movie and although at times the story gets into the realm of soap opera to me I think the story kept me entertained because it basically went up and down you think it's gonna happen this way and then this happens and it wasn't all that bad except I did not like the end but they did do one thing right the picture is excellent but that's what I think about it thank you everybody for watching and you know you're gonna have to click that subscribe button but that's all I have to say about this movie thank you for watching click that subscribe button check out all of my other awesome videos and I'll catch all of you later